My name is Corey, and I've spent a lot, and I mean a lot, of time camping, hiking, and hunting. I've seen all kinds of predators, and I've been in some sticky situations. Everything from a tornado heading my way to being tailed by some bears, so I don't exactly frighten easily. This past July, I was out camping near my family's farm in western Iowa, along with my girlfriend Alexa, my best friend Jason, and his new girlfriend, Samantha. Samantha actually had never been camping before, let alone more than a mile off the trail in the middle of a forest. She was understandably nervous, but we were watching out for her. We do have to watch out for prairie rattlers, poison ivy, and even mountain lions in this part of the state. We made camp in a clearing on top of a small hill with a few trees, but we were deep in the woods to be sure. We arrived to make camp, eat, drink, and went to bed by midnight. Nobody had any injury besides a few mosquito bites. Everything was going according to plan until, suddenly, I woke up to the sound of Samantha screaming at the top of her lungs. I just couldn't believe how loud she was screaming, it, it was actually insane. I woke up, I, I guess at the same time as Alexa, grabbed my light and my Glock and ran out. I told her to stay in our tent just in case. Jason was already trying to comfort Samantha and she was talking, almost babbling about something huge walking through camp and scratching at the tent and making a terrible sound. I told her it could have been a coyote or even a mountain lion. What little food and trash we did have was outside of the camp area so that wasn't an issue. But I assured her that I would stay up and light the fire again that I would take turns with Jason watching the fire because our movement and the fire should scare anything away. This seemed to comfort her and she actually went to sleep in with Alexa. Jason and I both stayed awake talking quietly, watching the fire and checking around camp for tracks and signs. We couldn't see anything obviously wrong or suspicious. It certainly could have been a mountain lion and this did have me on edge with the girls there. About 30 minutes had passed and Jason walked just out of the firelight to take a leak. He was off to my left, my tent across the fire in front of me and Jason's tent behind me. There, off to my empty right, I saw something and heard a large crunch. Jason heard it also and was practically still pulling up his pants running towards the fire. What the hell was that? That is big, he said. I, I know, it could be a big cat. Better get your 44 out of your bag too and get that bright tack light, I told him. He returned with those items and we waited to illuminate whichever area we heard more movement from next. Then we heard a crunch and a snap. More movement almost directly behind us. We stood up simultaneously and spun around, turning the brightest light on. For just a second, we saw what almost looked like a gorilla-sized and shaped figure disappear back into the trees. At this point, I'm trying to keep it together and Jason is just frozen. I tell him to snap out of it and that we need to get the fire to grow. Once the fire is larger, we both need to take a position, one in front and one in the back of the tent to protect the girls. We heard this awful grumbling and growling sound for the rest of the night. I have never heard anything like it and large crunching and snapping sounds continued to emanate from the woods behind Jason's tent and really all around us. Periodically, we would see something move either to our left or right in the clearing just outside the trees. I kept the fire going. I actually had the fire pretty enormous by the end of the night. As soon as the sun started coming up, we packed up. On our way out, we saw large prints in the mud down by a small stream at the base of the hill we were camped on top of. I can't really say anything other than the fact that they basically looked like a huge man's prints. The thing we saw was definitely not a man. I, I, I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was going to hurt us. I, I don't know if it was Bigfoot. Frankly, I don't want to know. The way I see it, it's really not relevant because I was thinking it was a mountain lion initially. Those are also dangerous. I won't let this stop me from camping. Sometimes I guess you just hear scary things at night in the woods. Because scary things do live in the woods. I guess that's just part of the adventure.